Hello again, peoples of the internet. It's me, March98, and I am back with another Redstone request video. Uh, so this one was requested by Tyler Ramsey, and it was very difficult to figure out, so thanks for that, Tyler. I mean, really, I actually enjoyed the challenge. It was pretty fun to do, and it was a big relief when I, when I finally figured it out. And I'm actually pretty proud of this invention. So the concept Tyler came up with was that you need a certain amount of items to open the door. So mine requires 15, 15 items. You're going to put iron in there, why not? You can use any item though, unfortunately. I didn't figure out this needs a certain item. I'll put 14 in there for now, though, so I can put the 15th in later and show you how the door opening system works. I pull this lever, that activates the resonant clock here, which um, keeps powering and unpowering. Not as a word, but it keeps powering and unpowering this block underneath there, which makes the dispenser spit out blocks. Each block hits there and goes in the water stream, and then hits the pressure plate and falls through it because it's only a fence, it's perfectly on a fence. So that's how I got the system, this is the most difficult part to figure out, I got the system to make it so it lands on the pressure plate and it gives a pulse signal and then moves on straight away. So it just falls through and the moment of the water keeps it so it goes to the edge of the fence and that block, the edge of the edge of the pressure plate, there's no fence underneath it, and that block there prevents it from overshooting. So eventually it'll go to, uh, it'll keep going until it's run out of blocks obviously. So as you can see, that when it lands on the pressure plate, it powers the piston, which pushes a gravel block, which pulls down there, and then it just keeps doing that until it gets to 14. So now it's the 14 stack, so that's uh, 14 blocks up, and then when I get the 15th one, it'll just land there and it'll open the door. And also got, also I've got, so when it falls down there and activates the system, it also falls into a collection place. So later, um, or whoever's on the other side can go and pick up all the items. So I'm going to pick them up now, why not? And then I'm going to go, I'm going to put the last one in, and this should open the door. The last one goes in, and then the door should open when this hits the pressure plate. You'll see the piston push the gravel like now, now, there. And the door opens. So I also have a reset system for this, which is, um, yeah which is this lever, so that just uh, makes a resin clock which pushes each of the bits of gravel individually um, onto a resin torch, and as you know, if a uh, falling block lands on a torch, it'll just pop off and become an item. So that's how you reset it. I have to have um, lots of gravel, so I've got a massive stack of gravel up there, uh, because that requires it to be reset less times, so it has enough gravel to, to be used a lot of times before you have to reset it again. Uh, obviously, if you're making an adventure map, you probably want to hide this, so you can put it underground. Uh, I don't have much underground, though, because I'm in a flat world, obviously. So I can't do that, but if you're in adventure mode, or, no, not if you're in adventure mode, if you want to make an adventure map, then you probably want to hide it underground, or maybe in a tower or something. Uh, this obsidian block is there for when it overflows and it gets too much, then it can't push anymore because it can't push obsidian. And I'm just going to stop this. And I'm going to... I'll do it again and show you how it works again go through each step again, just so it's very clear how it works. That's 15, yeah, that's 15. So you see the the clock is four full repeaters, that was the, what I found was the ideal time. And that powers the dispenser which fits out, hits this block there, so it doesn't fly too far and it's like uh, quite, um, it's quite systematic so it's, uh, it's the same like distance apart from each one, it just makes, the, it, just makes it much better. It makes it so not two land at once. So then each time that lands in there, it hits the pressure plate. It doesn't go too far because that block there, but also doesn't hit the and land on the fence and stay there because of the moment of the water. So as you can see, it lands in the collection zone, and then each time that powers the, um, the piston, which is powered by this part, which is there, and then eventually it'll reach the top, and the door will open. Bam. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this is what you asked for, Tyler, because it seems like it. And yeah, I, ho I hope this is good enough for you, um, Tyler Ramsey, because it took a long time. And, you know, it... I mean, it's, it's pretty good. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, see you later. Also, any of the Redstone requests, I really enjoy uh, seeing the new ideas and trying to put them into action in Redstone. And at the moment, it's been pretty good. I've got a few, so I'm, I have two more to do. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy, and see you later.